The aspirin that you have synthesized is not pure aspirin. The solid that you produced will be mostly aspirin, but it may also contain unreacted starting material and small amounts of byproducts. We call this mixture the crude product. Pharmaceutical compounds must be very pure, so it is important that chemists purify their reaction products. You will purify your crude product by recrystallization. To do this, you will first need to choose a solvent that will dissolve aspirin. We can use the polarity of a molecule to predict which solvents will dissolve it. Polar molecules dissolve well in polar solvents. Nonpolar molecules dissolve well in nonpolar solvents. To recrystallize your crude product, we also need a solvent that dissolves impurities when the solvent is cold and only dissolves aspirin when the solvent is hot. If you dissolve your crude product in a small amount of hot solvent and cool it down, the aspirin will form crystals and the impurities will stay dissolved. We can check for impurities using thin layer chromatography or TLC. We dissolve a small amount of our purified aspirin and place it on a TLC plate. We also dissolve a small amount of our starting material and a small amount of our crude product and place those on the TLC plate. If we stand the TLC plate in a solvent, the solvent will move up the TLC plate and carry the compounds on the plate with it. Each compound moves at its own speed up the plate. When we take the TLC plate out of the solvent, the compounds stop moving. If we shine a UV light on the plate, we can see some dots. Each dot shows where a compound is on the plate. If two dots are the same height on the plate, it is likely they are the same compound. In the pharmaceutical industry, research scientists often use high-performance liquid chromatography, or HPLC, to analyse products. Although HPLC requires expensive equipment, it can detect chemicals at low concentrations and is better at separating compounds than TLC. In this activity, you'll learn about the chemical properties of aspirin. You'll get to purify your sample by recrystallization and then analyse it using thin layer chromatography.